Good evening from WSA 9, Weather Watch Meteorologist Topper Shut. We are looking at rain rolling through the metro, and essentially the snow has stopped now in the mountains, and we'll talk about how much snow fell there. It got pretty close to us. Uh, you know, Cumberland over the divide, we always said over the divide, and Cumberland would have the best chance, and they did, you know, one, two inches there. But we have some pretty big time rains rolling through. Now, if it's green or yellow, it's just rain. This is the last couple of hours. This is a loop. If it's white or blue, those are those are uh, degrees of snow. So you can see essentially the precipitation is not only changed to rain, it's shut off now in Cumberland and Romney. The rain essentially now uh, I-81 eastward and there are pockets of some pretty heavy rain between Warrington and Leesburg. Everything is moving pretty quickly. So this is a good thing. We talked about this being a quick hitter. Pretty much it is about a 12 hour uh, event, if you will. Moderate rain in Frederick as you go up uh, to 70 and past Frederick into Hagerstown. Heaviest rain though by far right now is uh, across I-66. You see the yellow, even a little tiny bit of orange. So that rainfall is about four tenths of an inch per hour and the orange is about six tenths of an inch per hour. But even the darker greens we see, um, that's significant rainfall. So a miserable, uh, miserable night. So we'll zoom back out again. Essentially I-81 west, you're done. I mean, there's a little bit of precip out to a cross junction, but you know, Pawpaw's done, Hancock's done, Cumberland's done. I will say though, and we'll get the future cast in a second, uh, west of the uh, divide again tomorrow, we'll have snow showers all day. But let's zoom in a little bit. So we have moderate rain right now in Leesburg, uh, Sterling, and just south of Rockville and over into Silver Spring. But decent, you know, decent, steady rain covers most of the metro area east of I-81. Um, this is what I'm going to concentrate on. So there's that, that little pockets of heavier rain down towards Chantilly. And this is all moving off to the north and the east. So Rockville, get ready. Spring, uh, Silver Spring, get ready. It will get a little bit heavier before it becomes um, lighter. But even the green in Old Town is pretty heavy rain. And down 95 Dale City, that's pretty heavy rain too. <clears throat> and we'll zoom in a little bit more now. So McLean Falls Church, uh, heavy rain. It's not quite uh, to River Road yet, but it will be shortly. That's Bradley Boulevard, rather. It will be shortly as it moves eastward. But still, you know, moderate rain over towards Silver Hill and College Park. But the heavier activity is moving your way. Uh, Falls Church, uh, Anna, uh, Anna Lee Heights, and Blue Mont Junction. That's rainfall rates of about a half an inch per hour, about four or five tenths per hour. It's pretty heavy and over toward McLean. So, again, a miserable night, and that's one of the reasons we issued the weather watch alert doesn't always have to be life threatening, it has to have an impact on you. And certainly today's rain and cold had an impact. Kind of snapped us back to November reality, if you will. Uh, we'll move a little further east. There's New Hampshire Avenue 650. There's 410. That is East West Highway. Heaviest rain now to the north uh, out toward uh, Greenbelt. But you're still seeing rain in the district and Silver Spring and across East West Highway, just not quite as heavy. So, what is a weather watch alert? So it has to satisfy one of these three criterion. Life threatening weather possible. May have to change your plans and a dynamic situation. You should back should check back with us frequently. Now, in this case, it technically it technically satisfied all three because we had the uh, snow and the sleet west of the divide. And there were a couple accidents, but for the most part, it can simply be, hey, you got to change your plans. Uh, or it can simply be, hey, it's a dynamic situation where you might have to change your plans, but you got to check back with us frequently because it's dynamic and it's changing quickly. Remember tracking the, the remnants of the coal changed quite a bit too, but we issued alert ahead of time. So one of those one of those criteria. So low temperatures tonight. Good news. Nothing's going to refreeze in the metro. We might see some slick spots on driveways out toward Oakland and Cumberland, but probably even Martinsburg and Hagerstown and Winchester, even though you're at 32, probably not going to freeze. Ground's still pretty warm, but still cold. I mean, at the bus stop, it's going to be cold and also breezy at the bus stop. Uh, low 40s uh, downtown, but in the mid 30s uh, in the suburbs. 35 Leesburg, 34 Manassas, 35, 36 in Bowie. All right, snowfall amounts. Well, okay. Uh, 2.5 in Frostburg, which is northwest of Frostburg. Frostburg proper at 2 inches. Grantsville, 1.3. Ridgely, West Virginia, 1 inch. McHenry 0.5 and Oakland, Maryland also 0.5. So they had their first little snow in the mountains. And this just updated now. So we have still have some winter weather advisories for Cumberland, Romney, and Petersburg and right along the Blue Ridge. But some of these have been canceled south of Petersburg uh, into parts of West Virginia. They go until noon. Uh, excuse me, they go until midnight. So 
Here's Futurecast. Now, this is 10 o'clock in, in the evening, so we still have a little bit of leftover rain, but for the most part now, Leesburg, you're done. Frederick, you're done. Certainly, you're done along I-81. You'll be done there in about an hour. So we still have some moderate rain over toward Annapolis with little pockets of yellow there, some heavier uh, downpours down into southern Maryland, St. Mary's County and Calvert County. But by midnight, it's, it's gone. We're done. We have clouds, but the precip's pretty much gone. It's almost exited uh, the eastern seaboard. And then by morning, there'll be breaks in the clouds. We'll call it partly cloudy. And again, it'll be breezy and relatively cold. I mean, kids are definitely going to need a sweatshirt or a jacket uh, at the bus stop. Really, a hat and scarf probably a good idea. 39 Leesburg, 38 in Frederick, 39 in Fredericksburg. By 9 o'clock, you know, we're still in the 40s. And notice the arrows. That's a northwest wind. And also notice, as I mentioned, we'll see snow showers on and off all day in Oakland, around Wisp, and down into uh, Canaan Valley and, and Davis and Timberline. That ski resort there, too. So 1 o'clock, you know, we're going to be 50. In fact, Wednesday, tomorrow will be the warmest day of the week. It'll be breezy, so it won't feel quite as warm. But temperature-wise, enjoy tomorrow. 42 Lees, uh, 42 rather in Hagerstown, 47 Leesburg, 53 in Fredericksburg. Uh, that's at 1 o'clock on Wednesday. And then by Wednesday evening, you know, we're now we're clearing out almost completely. Winds dying down a bit, still a little bit breezy, 10 to 15. Uh, 43 downtown, low 40s, uh, Gaithersburg, Leesburg, 30s along I-81. And look at this, boom, 29 in Oakland. So uh, I don't know if you saw the, some of the, the cameras at, at, at Wisp Resort today. It's pretty good snow. They had an inch, inch and a half there. So 8.30 tomorrow night, so about 24 hours from now. We're in the upper 30s. Look at the good snows between Oakland and over toward Petersburg. That's good ups. That's good uh, lake effect snows. Now, okay, so let's talk about high temperatures tomorrow. Again, even though it'll be in the 50s, it'll feel a little bit cooler. And our friends along I-81 will probably not make 50s. It's like Winchester and Martinsburg and Hagerstown will hold in the mid 40s. And our friends across the divide will hold in the 30s over toward Oakland. But 53 in Manassas, 55 in Fredericksburg, 54 in D.C. So temperature wise, pretty good. But let's factor in the wind. So it's going to feel like it's 50 in D.C., but it's going to feel mainly like it's in the 40s in the northern or western suburbs. And in the far northern or western suburbs along I-81, it's going to feel like it's in the 30s, even though it's technically the, the, high, the warmest day of the week in terms of temperatures. By 5 o'clock, now it feels like it's in the 30s uh, in our suburbs, pretty close in and down to the 40s in D.C. So we're going 51 to 56 tomorrow, but I would treat it as if it were in the 40s. I would dress... That, uh, yourself and the kids for that um, because it, with this northwest wind, it's going to feel a little bit colder than it is. Now, by 8 o'clock, now wind chills are barely in the 30s, 35 downtown, barely 30 in Hagerstown, 29 in uh, Winchester, and 28 in Romney and Cumberland. So it will be very cold tomorrow night. So temperatures, 54 tomorrow, but again, deceiving. Dress for the 40s. And then we're in the 40s, and this is cold. I mean, this is, our average high is still 59. Mid to upper 40s Thursday, Friday, mid 40s Saturday, and Sunday. Windy too on Sunday. So this is a stretch of, of pretty cold weather for November. But you know what? We're making up for all the 70s we had in November. Okay. Next 10 days. Hey, guess what? By next Tuesday, we go back in the 50s. Ah, Thanksgiving looks kind of mild right now at 54. I like cold Thanksgivings with a little bit of snow flurry activity. That'd be perfect. Uh, 54 also for uh, Black Friday. I guess that's good. Uh, but in the meantime, it's a pretty good cold, cold snap for us uh, by uh, November uh, standards. OK, now why is it going to be cold through Sunday? Well, and it's going to stay cold through. Well, it's a, jet, it's a jet stream. I mean, the jet stream is, is south of us uh, on Thursday, and it stays south of us. Anytime the jet's south of you, you're colder or cooler than average. And it allows cold air to come down from Canada. If you look at that jet stream you know, from Canada, it's driving some pretty cold air. Uh, into the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and the Mid-Atlantic. Doesn't it change much as we go into Sunday. In fact, it gets a little more pronounced in terms of the dip and drives a colder air a little further south. Now it's as far south as the Tennessee Valley and in parts of, uh, you know, maybe North Georgia and North Carolina. So that's why we're staying cold until that jet stream lifts back out, which looks like it will before Thanksgiving. We're going to be on the cold side of the jet, and that's why we're going to stay cold for a while. So. Pickleball, 
tomorrow. Yes. We have a pickleball forecast. Um, it may be too windy for pickleball. I mean, it is a wiffle ball after all. Cold in the morning, a bit windy at noon, only 48, and a bit windy or breezy at 5 o'clock, 51. Um, so that's a, that's a kind of a borderline day, I think, uh, for pickleball. And it will be cold and chilly, but, but you won't care because you're moving around. It won't be that bad. I mean, I raked leaves today before the sleet came in, and I was very comfortable outside. So let's review a little bit. Breezy and, and chilly to cool on Wednesday, depending on how you want to think about it. Lots of sunshine, but colder Thursday. Lots of sunshine and still cold on Friday. That, that's uh, not going to change. So good news is we have no other weather watch alerts. 54 tomorrow, 47 Thursday, and 47 Friday. And these temperatures are, remember, these are downtown temps. So when you see a 32 for a low, that means like 22, 23 in the suburbs. Now, uh, even colder on Saturday, 45, 30 for a low. Now we're talking about lows in the upper teens and low 20s in the suburbs. 46 on Sunday, 29 Sunday night. That'd be our coldest uh, night so far. Only 32 for a low on Monday. Finally, the following Tuesday, we go back into the 50s after this little spate of 40s. And we're back to 54, which is still below average even by that date. But notice we are dry across the board. Maybe a few clouds tomorrow morning, but I think I'm going to change that. Mainly it's going to be just partly cloudy. It'll be cloudy uh, in the mountains all day tomorrow, but I think we're going to see a fair amount of sunshine. Just breezy and again 50s, but I would dress for the uh, 40s. So again, we have trim uh, weather watch. Excuse me. We have trim uh, winter weather advisories now. Snow and sleet's done in the mountains, and we're going to be done with the rain here by about 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Uh, check in with us at 11 o'clock tonight. We'll have an update on just how cold it gets and if we see any refreezing west of town. Uh, and always, I welcome you and invite you to join our Weather Watch community. Go to WSA9.com for details. So in the meantime, that's it. Cold rain ends around midnight for us and then just stays cold for a while.